All right, everyone. Uh, I just thought I'll make a quick review uh, about my phone mount solution, phone mount and charging solution. So what I have here, what you might have seen before as well uh, on my videos, uh, for the phone mount, I use a tech mount, tech gripper. So that's one of the uh, better known uh, brands uh, for you know phone mounts. Uh, I think it's an American company. Um, so yeah, I mean there are plenty of uh, solutions available in the market, but uh, uh, this is one of the better known ones, and that's basically the reason I went for them because of course there are concerns when you mount the phone on your uh, motorbike you know concerns with uh, it being secure enough uh, so of course you have the fear that you know it can come off uh, from the vibration and Harleys do vibrate a little and uh, also when you're riding fast if the wind will just you know make it slide off so that's one concern the other concern is when you're stopped uh, somewhere say at a traffic light somebody can just yank the phone out of there and run away and that's also a definite possibility in India so these are the two main concerns I had and I have uh, read some very good reviews of uh, this tech mount tech gripper and they say it's really tight it does not come off easy and there are even people who have crashed and uh, their phones have still not come off I don't want to try that out myself of course but uh, uh, that's kind of reassuring so I got this and uh, I am quite happy with it. Um, you know, I have had some long rides, uh, like if you've seen my Horsley Hills uh, series. Uh, it didn't have any problems. It does slide down a little, but it's really very little. I mean, so over an hour or so, it may come down by just a millimeter or two which is quite fine I think and if it does you can just slide it up a little and it'll be fine for the next couple of hours so <coughs> I'm quite happy with the tech mount tech gripper there are other solutions available the ram mounts I think uh, are the other uh, set of well-known and popular uh, brands or models and this is a little more compact I, in terms of holding strength I'm not sure which one is better um, or in terms of convenience I think in terms of convenience this is better because it's smaller so if you're worried about uh, the mount itself getting stolen when you park you can just you know easily remove it and take it with you and you can take it a lot easier than something that's bigger yeah there are two uh, uh, models or two types of mounts available the basic uh, mount where you put your phone that's the same but the part that attaches to your motorcycle there are two choices there one is a standard um, handlebar mount where it just clamps onto your handlebars uh, like most other mounts right so there's a circular thing which um, goes around your handlebars like that and clamps on there the other which I have uh, I'll put up a video of me mounting the uh, thing here mounting my phone so you can see how the phone itself mounts and how it's held on
and you can see that the part that attaches to my motorcycle that's uh, the control mount that's what they call it so it attaches to your controls basically uh, these things here so you have these two screws here right on either side I mean I'm, I'm sure all motorcycles don't have them but most of them do at least all Harleys do so it just uh, attaches there they give you some replacement bolts which are slightly longer and they give you some spacer units so that's how you mount them and uh, don't worry if uh, you know the distance between these two bolts are not the same as Harley's or whatever they have a good range of uh, possible distances between those two bolts so you can mount them even if uh, they're a little narrower or wider so that's my solution for the phone mount quite good haven't had any problems yet and the other thing that I use uh, for the charging that's the Koryakin um, Koryakin uh, USB charging solution so it's a pretty compact thing um, it has two USB ports one of them is a 2 amp uh, output one is 1 amp which is fine for me I think uh, because uh, yeah my phone needs 2 amps uh, for, for proper charging um, and usually that's the only thing I have connected this also comes with uh, a curved mount which uh, is for your handlebars and it also has a flat mount which you can use to attach to flat surfaces uh, you know wherever if you have a bigger bike with a dash I mean with a dashboard you can attach it there and the flat mount also has holes for screws so if you want to get them on more securely you can use those to screw them in somewhere uh, but otherwise uh, they both uh, come with uh, you know adhesive uh, surfaces basically good quality 3M double sided uh, tape put on there what are they doing with that? that's one of those water cannons they use for dispersing crowds I don't know if they're expecting something today so the reason I went with the Kuryakin because it's a well known brand I think uh, you know, that would uh, help with I mean the quality I expect it to be good yeah. and uh, there are plenty of uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type mounts available in the market now I didn't go for those because well many reasons one is they're bigger right and you have to attach that uh, cigarette lighter adapter I mean 12 volt to 5 volt uh, USB converter and those things from my experience in uh, using them in cars they're not very securely mounted they kind of tend to fall off and that's really not very reassuring on a motorbike so that's why I decided to go with the USB and I mean pretty much everything that you need to charge or power nowadays is a USB connection anyway right also yeah the USB solutions are more compact I like this one because it's a chrome and uh, it kind of blends in with your handlebars a lot better than uh, many other solutions it has two ports many others uh, have just one port and so the way they ask you to connect this uh, Kuryakin says you should uh, connect it directly to your battery which I don't like because then it stays powered on all the time right so as some others have said you know especially in India if when you're parked uh, in a public place somebody could just uh, charge their phone from your uh, motorcycle and that will drain your battery a little right and then 
it's a USB solution, so there has to be a circuitry uh, which does the 12 volt to 5 volt conversion. Uh, in this case, it, there is a small little box, a sealed box, so it's waterproof and all. And uh, for me, it sits uh, under the seat. Come on, guy. All right, so. thing is I mean when you're doing a voltage conversion even if you're not using it typically uh, now I'm no electronics genius but I think it would still consume some power right even when you're not uh, using it so again if it stays connected to your battery all the time it would slowly discharge your battery which is not something um, I would like to do <laughs> Right. So what I did was, um, I found out that uh, my Sportster, uh, now there's an accessory circuit. Now if you don't know Harleys, they have uh, an accessory position in the ignition switch. So the ignition key in case of Sportsters or in case of uh, bigger Harleys, uh, the ignition switch that's on top of the tank here. They have an ignition, uh, I mean, they have an accessories position uh, in addition to the uh, off or on position. So, uh, I found out that in the fuse box, there is a separate fuse for just that accessory circuit. So what I did was I got one of these uh, fuse extension things, they call them add a circuit sometimes what it does is basically lets you add another uh, outlet from uh, any fuse uh, mount point I'll put a picture here you can see that uh, you know pretty simple solution uh, simple but elegant solution I would say it works so that's what I got and uh, I connected the positive uh, end of my charging thing to that so it comes on only when the bike is in the accessories position or the on position and so when it's off when it's parked it's off so no battery drain the uh, the step down circuit also doesn't heat up or get you know worn out unnecessarily so the whole thing is completely off when the bike is off right so if you mount solutions uh, I mean charging solutions to your bike look out for something like that if you can do that it's I think it's much better and uh, the thing will last longer because it's not always on and you have peace of mind from knowing that your battery is not getting discharged <coughs> right so that's that and uh, yeah, it's been working pretty well. Now the cable from underneath the seat to the actual uh, power outlet, routing that can be a bit of a challenge um, on Harleys or on big bikes, especially big air-cooled bikes, you know, where the engines get really, really hot. You have to keep them away from any of the hot parts uh, because you know they can easily melt the wires so ideally what should I what I should have done is I should have taken off my tank and then routed it uh, along the frame under the tank but uh, I had some challenges removing the tank uh, I didn't have all the required tools so I just uh, routed it uh, you know kind of between the tank and the engine just making sure that it doesn't uh, come very close to the engine in any place and yeah, it's been going well so far I had to check every now and then to make sure all the zip ties are in place and it's not uh, it's not moved from anywhere you know so it still has necessary clearance from the engine and 
so yeah I, I like this solution um, as you can see the top one now that's the 2 amp uh, port that one's connected to my phone right now the other one uh, is the 1 amp now I usually don't use it only time I use it uh, used it was uh, when I powered my Cena 10s 10c sorry my Cena 10c from that when I was uh, on my Horsley Hills ride because the battery life of the Cena is not very good when you're recording videos so yeah that's one good thing I can just use a long cable take it from here across the tank uh, through, through my jacket and uh, plug it in there who's that fucking idiot so yeah I haven't had any problems the 2 amp uh, does seem to uh, be offering full 2 amps to my phone um, I mean I can't I haven't tested it in any proper way I just know because it shows the charging message on the phone and not the charging slowly message which it does uh, when it's not getting 2 amps right so So yeah, that's uh, my quick review on my phone mount and charging solutions. Hope you like it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on these things or anything else that you would like to know from me. I'll definitely try to help to the best of my ability. And yeah, guys, uh, take care. Catch you next time. Bye.